Yes, we're going to the children's hospital, I suppose. Gameplay tip. Sandy medication hurts your health. Real world tip. The cure for cancer was discovered in 1994 by a man known as Marcel A. Linden. Linden was unfortunately killed in 1994 when he was impaled by a child's crayon drawing. Okay. Ah. Anything? Guess not. Okay. Children's hospitals have the same smell to them. It's a clean smell that somehow makes you want to vomit. Like a mixture of bleach and Elmer's glue. I love it. You get it. Doctors, doctors will always smile at you when they say they cannot help you. Give them the copay and die more as they tell you that you aren't full of cancer. Aren't full of incurable illnesses. Like all the doorways? Or is it just moving? I guess we're just moving. Only sick once. Okay. Can I go past this? Am I right? I guess not. Hmm. There must be another way to go then. Hospitals feel like the safest place to me, even though I know they aren't. They're at least safe place, a place that will swallow you whole and give you disease, a place that will cut you open and make others feel good about it. And through it all, the elevator is there. I can smell it, that smell of rust and petrol breaking through the clean hospital smell. The door is wide open, waiting for me to enter. Okay. looks at you through a, an eyeless void, you just know she's thinking about meat. Eternal Nurse, welcome to the lower wing. Here we help to preserve the most important individuals of humankind, both in honor of their contributions and as a sign for the rest of humanity to follow. Ooh. Okay. Can I... touch? Touch the nurse feels dry and warm to the touch. She really cares about you. Okay. Look, Alexander the Great is before you. He quivers and slops in a violent way. Alexander, there's nothing greater in this world than the feeling of battle. To conquer and to be conquered. I feel that warm slick on your hand. Wouldn't you agree? I would do anything to feel another man's blood again.
touch. You get no pleasure from touching Alexander the Great. Okay. Anything hidden behind these screens or something? No. Okay. Oh, there's a nurse. Nurse wears a keycard around her neck. Oh. As a thanks for their contributions to society, our patients are surrounded by their most favorite things in life. They'll never get bored, and they'll never be unhappy. She feels very proud of her special key card. The nurse feels dry and warm to the touch. Hmm. I tell me I have to get rid of the nurses. Hey, who else is over here? Cleopatra is before you. She moves and shakes in an ambitious, dangerous way. Cleopatra, oh, there's nothing better in life than having people think you're helping them. Popularity is absolutely key when moving forward. You play your cards right, anything seems necessary. A massacre, a young girl with a slit throat. The dissolution of a people. A crushed slave revolt. That'll do it all for you, if you know how. Hmm. You get no pleasure from touching Cleopatra. Okay. Oh. There's health. Hmm. Anything else here? Yep, just gyrating screens. Okay. Who is this last one? Plato is before you. He quivers and shakes in a perverse way. I was right about everything in my life except for the cave. I was totally off the mark with that. No matter. There is no better sound than the sound of children, the touch of children, the smell of children. Socrates agrees with me, so you know it's good and right. Okay. You get no pleasure from touching Plato. Okay, that's weird. There's nothing else in the room, I guess. Huh. And my flashlight on, right? Yes. Alright, well. All places left to go is these. Hmm. Can I look at that? Guess not. Okay then. Ooh. That's the back of the nurse. The nurse looks off in a daze, thinking of wonderful heavenly bodies. Beautiful night, isn't it? It makes me feel a lot better to know that when I look at the moon, someone is looking back. Warm. Nurse's warm interior is covered by a cold exterior. Hmm. Oh, wow. Authorized to access only, huh? Think past that. Uh oh. Hey, 
Hey, you came at me. Nurse has a keycard around her neck. You think about choking her with it. Oh my. Each and every one of these small rooms houses an important figure. Once the patient has grown enough, they'll be moved to their own main room up above. She feels like a smile and touches like a day. Ah. Okay. She's at least on her own, I guess. What's on the other side before we start destroying nurses, I guess? Oh, what's that? Recently uncovered texts reference two enigmatic figures. Kavincha Vishneri, Queen of Venus, and Krusner Colvin, King of Mercury. Several ancient textiles depict these beings creating the heavenly bodies and weaving the universe. Their names seemingly refer to two fictitious plants, Venus and Mercury, respectively, which they held dominion over. It is thought that these figures acted as a subject of worship. However, their descriptions and depictions within the textiles match no known religions or cultures. Big A, symbols of the aforementioned deities. Note the upright cross, probably denoting a connection to Christianity. Ah. Um. And I get, okay. The wall looks a little worse for wear. Oh. Talking to a wall will not do you any good. They tend to be awful at conversations. You wrap your knuckles against the wall. It rings out a bit more hollow than other walls. Oh. Okay. Okay. It's a cochlea, an important part of the human ear. It used to be a number cruncher for a big corporation, and it was so boring and awful. A boring businessman. And I got extensive surgery to be a free-floating cochlea, and I've never been happier. Cochlea feels sensitive and receptive to sound. Oh. Okay. Oh, there's several ways to go there. All right. Well, what's this way? That's access only. There's a triple here. And let's see what's in this room first before we move on. Nurse wears a plastic key cutter on her neck. What a time to be alive. Ah, oh, it's really great to see outside every once in a while. Make sure you're going outside. If you're not doing that, you're practically killing yourself. The nurse moves in a shakily, outdoorsy way. Yuki. I guess pay attention to the wall... ...to see if there's a secret area. The thing with the tree. Oh. Okay. Was so that like a corner over here?
It is. Okay. Yeah, we went through there. I'm not seeing any more different walls here. Okay. Authorized access only. Okay. I guess we're going back to that room. right first. Maybe it just loops. I have a feeling it does. It goes up? Yep. Alright, so that's a loop. What is this? Alright, x-ray. Nurse is ready for hard work in R&D in the coming future. Perfection. Now that's hard. We've got to strive for it, though. After all, perfect patients need perfect parasites. Oh? Nurse feels dry and cracked. Hmm. Find a tick. The tick squirms or burbles between the faces of the wall, happy to be surrounded so snugly. The tick is simply too happy to respond in any meaningful way, so it just gurgles in delight instead. You can't reach the tick to touch it, but you have a feeling it might grab you if you try. Hmm. Okay. Oh. Nurse looks excited. The future is full of opportunities. The study of neoparasitics is very important to us. Parasites are some of the most efficient creatures on the planet. This new parasite was developed from the body of a young teacher in Berlin. We have very high hopes in her. The nurse feels dry and cracked. Hmm. Nurse looks very proud of new discoveries in mental health. It's hard to turn a human into a parasite. Most people would never want to be a parasite. That's why her brain is filled with dopamine 24-7 to keep her chugging and it works. Nurse feels happy to be alive. Hmm. So they're turning people into parasites, I guess? seeing levers or anything to pull, so the only way to move on is get one of those key cards, I guess. I 
I guess go to the one in the corner. This is the under of... okay. Hmm. Alright, so that's the under of... Who is that on the right? Petra? need all the key cards, huh? She has one. The nurse looks at you through an eyeless void. You feel a plump kind of love coming from her. You've nourished out patients so well. Look at how plump and happy their bodies have become. I'm so proud of them. The nurse's dry surface is covered in a layer of wetness. Okay. The other card was in one of the rooms with one of the patients. Guessing the floor opens. See, now we went that way. In fact, there's nothing. I 
what was over here? This was another... This was the tick. Is there a door over here? I don't think there was. No. Okay. Back way for the underside of the last one. Another nurse. Nurse looks at you through an eyeless void. She's trickling in a most vile way. You must understand, nutrients and meat are siphoned from hospital patients from around the world to keep our VIP guests alive. It might seem brutal, but I bet you never even noticed it until now. The nurse touches and feels in a way that tells you she really understands the big picture when it comes to healthcare. Hmm. Okay. opened up. The center area? Ah, uh, yep. No, I just dropped this thing. Hmm. You got the... You got an egg of the earth. Okay. Transient location. Okay, then. Gameplay tip. Some creatures do not like light. Real world tip. Public schools are required to have at least 50 teeth of mammalian origin. I think we've seen that one. Over a transient area. Transient location starting point. Hmm. Oops. Ah, make sure to use items sparingly. They're rare. Reworld tip. Have you ever tried asking what your father's true name is? You might be surprised. Street Village. I missed the other one, but okay. Yeah, you just I guess you just exit whenever you want to. Look, a threat child is no older than two years. Threat youngling. Yesterday I ate a rat. It was real gross. Everyone tells me that we used to eat all sorts of stuff, but now it's just rats and old hamburgers. Reach out to pat the threat child, but it lightly growls at you, showing some small but sharp teeth. Fair enough. Her omen looks very hungry, but more than that, she looks worried. Food has been hard to come by. We have to go out searching, and sometimes those who go looking don't come back. It's impossible to raise livestock down here. If you find any food, please bring it here. Okay. Reach out to touch her face, but the three woman moves out of the way just at the last moment, looking at you funny. Hmm. Threat woman's the threat woman eyes you up and down, just trust in her expression. 
Albino Thrade. Our village was forced down here after all of the humans appeared on the surface. It's horrible. This is our home. And to call this place our world, Earth, makes me sick. Hmm. Okay, well that's a door to go through. One eyes you up and down, trying to figure out what exactly you are. Up on the surface, the other day, I saw a human get hit by a car. Everything inside of them spilled out. Nothing but dust and clay. Interesting. You reach out to poke her in the eye, but the threat woman shoots you a look that makes you stop. Obviously. Hmm. Is that it? Can't see any other ways to go other than that door. Can I even go back there? I don't think so. Because this, I'm guessing that's this location. At least this one says exit. This gonna be the same area. Gameplay tip: World can be dangerous. Be careful. Real world tip. Uh, okay. Yeah, this is that village. Ah, there's another one. Um... No. Oh. Gameplay tip. Some tips are outright lies. Real world tip. A man claiming to be God appeared on American soil in 1965. He was immediately shot down by the CIA. John McCone was quoted saying, we got him. Hey, can you hear me? Yes, we can hear you. Good, I hope you're doing well. It's boring here. I'm dying of boredom. I can't stand the desert. Blah. What's the status? The queen, she's awake, but still dormant, trying to hide. Doesn't matter, though. Her progress is perfect. What about the other one? The king is still fast asleep, like a big, dumb, snoring baby. Good, do not wake him up until I tell you to. Last thing we need is to deal with is both of them at the same time, not until everyone is ready. Ah, do we have to? There's nothing to do around here. Especially these little puppets, they're boring, not like the real thing. These ones don't squirm right, and they make such a mess when they pop. Have patience, soon we'll have more fun than ever before. Ah, if you say so, you're the boss. Eh hey, am I a good boy? The best of the boys, the king of all boys. Once we see you again, I'll give you a big nice bone. Sounds lovely. I'll look forward to that. Oh wait, is this channel secure? Should be. Not like it matters. Nobody listening can do anything. Okay then. Touch. You can barely reach the ore, but it feels smooth and jittery like there is a great deal of electricity inside. Talking to the ore, but it does not respond. Seems that you are not part of its communication system.
Uh, that's the same thing. Same thing. Look, a floating orb. Something about it seems simultaneously important and absolutely worthless. Hmm. Okay, that's this area. <laughs> 